so uh, will both names go into that uh, famous hat tomorrow morning when you can see the uh, draw for the fourth round live on BBC at quarter to eight. It's beginning to look like it, isn't it? And indeed they will, because the match ends in a 2-2 draw. High-quality entertainment, a lot to talk about for the supporters of both teams. West Ham went 2-0 up, Alan Dickens got the first, an own goal by Steve Bold, but it was the speed with which this man, Paul Merson, replied that really changed the game. It was 2-1 at half-time, and then Merson pleased the Arsenal supporters by equalising after 66 minutes. And as the uh, players thank the supporters for their contribution to a very good afternoon's football, the fact of the matter is that Merson's two goals take this cup tie back to Highbury for a replay on Wednesday night. The kickoff will be 7.45, and that ensures some more quality entertainment from this uh, FA Cup third round during midweek. Just one quick comment from Trevor. Were you pleased with your old club's performance? Very pleased. I mean, they kept up the tradition of their cup displays this season, and uh, hopefully, you know, they can carry it over to the league programme. All it means, unfortunately, is they've got another game Wednesday, and hopefully it won't drain them for what really are important league points in the future. There it is then, West Ham United 2, Arsenal 2. And uh, I think down in the tunnel, Tony Gubber has already got uh, someone to talk to. Indeed we have, it's uh, Liam Brady of uh, West Ham and Paul Merson of Arsenal. First of all from you, Liam, once an FA Cup winner with Arsenal in days gone by. But having been 2-0 up, obviously West Ham will be a little bit disappointed to have been pulled back to a 2-2 draw. Yeah, we didn't keep the lead long enough really, did we? Uh, Thanks just to before, this man. Yeah. Uh, just before half time, I felt uh, getting that goal, you know, 2 0 to go in at half time was, uh, would have been a tremendous feat for Arsenal to come back. But uh, they got, Paul got the goal immediately, and all credit to them. They, uh, they, they played a tremendous second half, and uh, I feel it was a, a marvellous cup tie. It was Fantastic indeed a, a marvellous match to watch. In fact, I think Arsenal would probably be, in fairness, say they would be surprised at how well West Ham played in midfield. That wasn't the bottom of the table performance by West Ham. No, well, uh, unfortunately, we've been doing it only in the cup ties. Uh, but uh, all credit to us, uh, we, we could have gone into this match with a bit of an inferiority complex, but we didn't. And uh, I'm looking forward to the game at Highbury, it'll be tremendous. Smashing. Difference in experience for you two, this is, I think was your 38th FA Cup tie today, but for Paul Merson here, that's only your, your second FA Cup yeah. tie, and you've made it a memorable one with two great goals. Yeah, it was, the first one was uh, like they all tried to push up West Ham, and uh, I think Kevin's put the ball through, and I've cut in front of David and uh, Kelly, and uh, I've hit it and lucky enough it's gone in and then the uh, second one it was just a tap and I, I thought they should have cleared it but they haven't how, but, how, how conscious were you of how important that first one was though to, to immediately pull one back when you've suddenly gone 2-0 down oh yeah like if we'd have gone in 2-0 down at half time it was a uphill battle like but uh, when we got that goal we were full of confidence coming out in the second half and uh, it was a good cup tie for the fans. Sure. Great match to watch, and we look forward to Wednesday in a replay. Thanks Thank very much you. indeed. Well, Tony Gubber nearly interviewed me for the, there for a second, which would have been a lot less interesting. But uh, what, did you make, what did you make of that, uh, Jim? I think there was something inevitable about Arsenal coming back there, wasn't there? Yes, I think it was a fair result at the end of the day, bearing in mind both halves. I don't think anybody can grumble about that. Uh, I think it, it sort of bordered on being a classic, but probably the thing that stopped it was the lack of quality in the goals. Because if you think about back on them, apart from that Merson one, uh, they were scrappy. And in fact, um, this is the equalising goal. Yes, that is this the scrappiest of the lot, you see. Just a dribble over the line, which Arsenal loved, of course, but it's the most unsatisfactory way of, um, well, of squaring a match. Look at it. Yeah, nothing really going on there. The goalkeeper went one side, two of them there couldn't scrape it off the line, um, because that was, that was all that Arsenal wanted. Mm. And they wanted just the goal to get the game back to Highbury. Which of the players stood out for you in the match today on either side? Brady, inevitably, his lovely touch. We've, we've already I, talked to him. And Merson? It's, it's one of the great mysteries about Brady that, um, that even though the modern midfield is supposed to be so crowded, he still appears to have all night on the ball. Uh, he, he, if there's a space there, he runs into it and, 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 and helps himself to it. And other players so respect his ability on the ball that they virtually exceed that space to him, you know. So it's uh, that was a delight to see that. I like Steve Adams again. I thought, uh, yeah, when Tony, Bald, Ad Tony Adams, sorry, yeah. when when Bald was struggling in the first half, um, you know, he held them together, 
And a strange game for Border Cross. I mean, uh, you're scoring an own goal for the first one, playing a part in the, in the equaliser and then going off with an injury, ups and downs. Um, right. lots, lo lots of good performances, really. I, you know, the, for the West Ham one-touch play, which was more team play than one or two individuals, uh, was the, the delight of the game Let's for me. pay attention now yeah. to the other match which uh, has been taking place this afternoon, Port Vale against Norwich. You'll remember that Port Vale were leading by a goal to nil at half-time. Here's the story now of the second half. Port Vale are in white. Barry Davis is reporting. Gordon. Three waiting, four waiting. Fleck. Townsend! No, oh, I say! Cracking strike. And it's 1-1. 63 minutes gone. And a bullet from Andy Townsend. His fourth goal of the season puts the first division side level. Townsend to Fleck. The Fleck stays down. A real opportunity for the winner, maybe. Second chance, and it's in. An own goal by Sproson. Fleck, lucky to tell the truth, sends the Norwich City supporters wild with some delight. This is the man who scored the best so far, Andy Townsend, and he might well get another. He has! Oh, I say, that's quite brilliant. That's as delightful a trip as you could wish to see. Hub has certainly produced some decent football this weekend, no doubt about that. But Norwich go through 3-1 uh, into tomorrow morning's draw. But there ha we've had some delightful football, haven't we, this weekend? Yes, tremendous. I, I mean, Sutton United's performance, although it was Coventry, I have to sadly say, at the end of the day, they took their defeat well. But that was the, that was the story. Mm. Um, but for, it, it was not only that they did it, but they achieved it as a result of hard work, rehearsal of the dead ball movements in the morning. Mm -hmm. They didn't work in the morning, they came out in the afternoon, and all those lovely passing movements that had come to nothing suddenly produced two goals for them. Yeah, I see Liverpool are the current favourites now for the Cup, but Arsenal must be in there as well now with a replay at home uh, at Highbury on Wednesday. Yes, you'd have to fancy Arsenal in the replay because they are a strong running side and a hard side. And you felt that West Ham had the accelerator hard down to keep level and ahead in the first half. And once they took it off and got back to normal again, then Arsenal's superiority began to show. OK. Well, don't forget that uh, Cup draw in breakfast time tomorrow morning at 7.45. Uh, Bob Wilson will steer you through that. But 2-2 two -two between West Ham and Arsenal here today. And I really think that, well, if you didn't like this, well, you don't like football. Bye-bye.